Hey guys, it's Max, and for those of you who follow my Facebook page, you will know that I have recently had a small fiasco of sorts regarding UMG, the Universal Music Group. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know, UMG is essentially the biggest music licensing company in existence and has global influence, controlling or owning almost all major music labels. Uh, now, although Sony and the Warner Music Group also have huge spheres of influence, UMG remains the global music leader. To quickly recap on what happened to me, I used extracts from five songs by Eminem in a YouTube video, stating in the description that they found the fair use, which they did, but got my video muted because of a claim by UMG. I rightfully disputed it, only to have them come back at me and say that their claim was still legit, even though it clearly wasn't. Then, two weeks ago, I re-uploaded the same video just to see if I could get them to see sense, but no, they just straight up blocked it. Not only is this censorship of the highest degree, but it is also technically illegal to stop someone from using a material if the usage does fall under fair use. I didn't think YouTube could possibly condone such behaviour by companies like UMG, so I decided to dig a little deeper and do some research. And boy, what did I find. As it turns out, YouTube has made a private deal with UMG, granting them the ability to block any video they see fit, as long as it contains their content, even if the usage falls under fair use. What this basically means is that YouTube has given a company the power to go beyond the law and censor any creators they want without facing any consequences. They don't even have to give reason or justify their claims. Eliza Kreisinger wrote a great article on this, explaining how she was personally victimized by UMG in this exact manner, so be sure to check it out in the sources below. She talks about how a mashup remix she made was blocked globally almost immediately after upload, which parallels my experience almost 100%. She also said that this deal between the two allows UMG to eliminate creators' fair use rights on the site and silence them without any backlash, with YouTube having no power to reverse the decision. This effectively gives UMG the ability to censor and silence anyone it wishes who is using songs under fair use, as almost all major record labels are under their control. If YouTube were to make deals like this with other major corporations, we could soon see an end to satire and parodies on YouTube, with big corporations blocking all videos that contain even a fraction of a second of their content. Eliza also mentioned in our article that part of her response by YouTube to her regarding her copyright situation was, and I quote, YouTube has a contractual obligation to the specific copyright owner that prevents us from reinstating videos in such circumstances. Therefore, we regretfully cannot honor this counter notification. Your account will not be penalized this time. This means that an official contract forbids YouTube from reinstating videos on their own platform if they are blocked by UMG. This is very worrying and could be the start of proper censorship on the site. We've already seen signs of this with YouTube's monetization laws that were changed some time ago, and I can see this going further with time. Agreements like these undermine the very rights of the users of the platform and should not be acceptable. But if you thought what I've just said was already bad enough, there's more. As other sources I've found revealed, UMG actually has the right to take down any video they want, no questions asked, even if there is no copyright infringement or use of their content present. The amount of power UMG has regarding YouTube, if this is actually correct, is truly scary. Not only can they take down all videos that include anything remotely similar to content licensed by them, which may I kindly remind you is almost the entirety of the music industry, but they can actually take down any video that takes their fancy with no repercussions whatsoever. UMG has also done other shady things in the past, such as filing a fucking lawsuit because the friends and relatives of prison inmates were sending them mixtapes as gifts, hiring unpaid interns, making the same deal that they made with YouTube or SoundCloud, watermarking their music files to, which decreases the quality, etc, etc. The list goes on and on. You can read all about it in the source link below. Overall, UMG is a disgusting corporation that exploits its monopoly on the music industry to ruin the lives of any creators who they disagree with. It would do good if some of you could help this message spread across the internet, because we united we may be able to do something about it.